Hey, what's up everybody? My name is Russ with RWGResearch.com. So, you guys really enjoyed the video that I showed you how my um, rail bushings made out of PLA were doing after one year. So I decided I'm going to go ahead and show you a short brief update of what I did temporarily to actually fix this just so I could print out some good quality parts and those parts are replacements. So, um, let's jump on in. I'll get you some close-ups while I explain it because I think it'll be more beneficial. So let me show you what I did. Remember I noted do not pull fast when you move these motors manually. It's on right now but when it's off it powers the uh, control units backwards and could potentially damage your drivers and anything else so always use caution. Alright, I've decided I'm gonna go ahead and show you how I did this in case someone really wants to do such a thing. So I took some Teflon tape, a piece about that big, that's twice the normal, I guess that's one of those long version of the bearings. I uh, just folded it and just kind of twisted it up just to give me something that's a little solid but a little loose. So I took the one out of the top here, so you can see what I'm doing. So I'm just going to put this on here like that, very carefully. Try not to touch your railings, you'll scratch them. But I am using a sharp screwdriver, which is kind of a bad idea. And this one's a bit thick, to be honest, but I am just pushing it into the top just to try to get... Oh. <laughs> oh, well, apparently... The zip ties aren't super tight. <laughs> I did that on purpose, by the way, because they don't fit very well onto there. Anyway, go back to this. Let me, let me, let me try that again. Okay, so I'm gonna hold the bushing this time, and I'm just sort of pushing this in here. And you'd be surprised at how well it stays in there. You'd think it would come out, but once it's actually in there. And I'm kind of pushing the, the bushing over a little bit to give me some gap there. Okay. Hope I'm not in the way of the camera. So you can potentially scratch the rod, so you need to be careful. Now I pushed quite a lot in there, as much as I could, just to get it to stay. And then run them up and down. And look, it's it's real smooth. It's It's not hard to push. But it's tight now. So that's what I did on all of them, and uh, of course this only this only works for some time before it gets gets loose again. And I'm just kind of shoving this down in there just to keep it from coming back out. Now I've ran uh, I've ran this for almost 30 hours, and I haven't had a single problem doing this method. Okay, so if um, if you can take your bushings off, it might be a really good idea. And then you can just put the Teflon, a couple layers of it in there, and put it back in. So I usually run it up and down a, a couple times and kind of push in and try to get it loosened if it feels really tight. Because that Teflon will compress. Um, so now, if you look at it, if I try to move this, it's barely loose. Probably could be pushed in there a little better. But it's a thousand times better than it was when I started. When I started it, you could really move it. So that was a huge, uh, a huge benefit. Also, what I did is I do have a little bit of slop in my, um, my joints here. So what I did is I just took some zip ties. Not really, this is not really the best method, but I took some zip ties which have a little bit of spring to them. And I zip tied them here to keep everything tight. But basically, it's much, much better. And this is just a temporary solution so I could get the parts made um, and I want to be able to have good tolerance. So, yeah, that's really the only thing I did. It seemed to work. Uh, let me show you what the parts look like I'm going to be replacing with. The parts I'm going to be replacing with, uh, right now they're PLA. I tried uh, PTEG. It's a little soft and I need to redo my hot end um, to get that stuff to print a little better. But here is one of the parts. This is the new style. They actually go this way. Now what I had troubles with last time is that this bushing is a solid piece on here. 
So this is one solid piece, and when it wears out, you can't do anything about it. You can't do anything about it. However, on this version, okay, I've got this where you can put bolts in here, and almost be better to just put some springs on those bolts, not actually tighten the bolts to allow like a spring pre compression. So right now I can squeeze the PLA and that is actually enough um, compression to sort of keep this tight. Now you don't want it too tight because it's going to get sticky. So something to think about. Now what I did is this right here is a bushing where it's got those those curls on the inside you can see. It's hard to see but you can see them there, the little notches. And then the middle section has nothing. It's not touching the rail at all. And then the bottom is touching it. So this extra extension, which is another extra short, uh, an extra short bushing, okay, longer, is going to allow me to get even less motion left and right. And the reason you get a lot of motion left and right is because the belt here, okay, is actually pulling like this because it's tied here and it's not in the center. That's just always something that, you know, is with this design and it's just the way it is. So the longer the bushings, the better, the better this is going to be. So this is PLA, uh, same brand as that stuff I used last time and we'll see if it works just as good. Um, yeah, so that's it. I will make these available when I'm done. If there's a giant request for people to have these for some reason, like right now, let me know, but otherwise when I get them installed and actually test them, um, I'll release these files. So that's all I got for you for today. Um, I did take a lot of you guys' advice in the comments about lubrication, and I tested a few things. We'll get to that in the video where I actually replace these. But um, yeah, thanks for that. Thumbs up, thumbs down, let me know what you think, and I'll see you next time. Bye.